Hey guys, thank you so much for dropping by my channel. And today we're going to have a makeup video. Um, here is the makeup closet. And I'm trying to get ready for work. So I'm trying to get my clothes ready. And I already used my Bath & Body Works, um hand sanitizer and this is that splat hair color I don't know if you guys can see but it's covered most of my gray now I'm not gonna do my hair I'm not gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do my hair but right now I just have it tied up and I'm going to um, put some moisturizer on I'm going to, oops, that's a night cream. I can't use that. Okay, I'm going to use my Clinique um, Smart Custom Repair Serum. Now, I washed my hands before I used it on my face. Plus, I used my... Um, Bath and Body Works never stop dreaming hand um, sanitizer. And for today, I am going to use a. I'm going to do a full face today. So, because it's not too hot. Not too cold. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Optical Illusion, and I have this much left in this um, primer. Now, when I do full face makeup. I make sure that I have enough time to do it because it takes me a hot minute to get ready and I like to take my time I don't like to rush it because I enjoy doing it this way so for my foundation for today I don't know yet what I'm going to use I think I'll just use my, um, I don't even know if it, this is still any good. I'm trying to shake it up. You guys will know if your foundations are still good. If you shake them up and then they don't settle or they don't mix together. And I think I might have to ditch this one. I'm not real sure. I'll have to see. Oops. Yeah, um, if, if it'll... Um, let me find my dish, my mixer. You guys know. Oh, I'm sorry. I turned the light off. Um, my mixer. This where I mix my makeup. Oh yeah, it's still good. So you guys will see the consistency of your makeup if it's still good. So if it's still good by the time you guys dump it. On your mixer on your palette then you'll know I'm using my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear now like I told you guys some blushes or blushes foundations if they might not be the right shade for you you will probably have to mix it up a bit to make it your own. I thought I just had the lid. Let me pause you guys for a minute. Alright, you guys. And then I'm going to mix it with my L'Oreal True Match Healthy Luminous Makeup. Or foundation. In the darker shade. And then I'm 
I'm going to mix them together. See? And then I'm going to try and put some of my other um, one in there. Um, I know I mixed them all up, you guys. I'm just... I'm just like that with makeup. I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear because it's kind of um, light shade. I don't know if you guys can see. Double Wear. No, it's not squirting. Hmm, maybe this one's out. We'll see. No, I just had to get the lid out and dump it. And then I mix it up. Now that should be enough for a full face. And then the wipes I'm using right now are these two wipes. The Dollar Tree Travel and then the Facial by Bolero. Now it should be dry. The, um, the mix. And I'm using my It Cosmetics brush, the same brush. And I have um, four of these. I don't know. I just like the the way it blends my makeup. Because I have a long day today, so I'm putting the long wear. Pretty much that is it. See? It's so much different than what it was earlier. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going to do my brows. So we'll see which one we're going to do for today. I just use whatever color you guys. So I'm going to use my um, LA. Well, no. I'm going to use my other brown one. My brow this way. And this is by Oops, Rimmel. Brow this way by Rimmel. Okay. I'm going to use my mirror. I have like four mirrors here. Love you. This is my son. Or the oldest. Our oldest. 
Okay. Then I am going to use my NYX Micro Brow Pin. Here you can see. Then I'm going to use my LA Girl brow pencil, the one that I just picked up like a while back. I know it's probably not going to be all one, but it's okay. And then I'm going to use... It's kind of like a gel or not a gel a cream and I told you guys too you could use coconut to um, coconut oil to soften up hard um, when it gets dried out the brow thing See how the gel kind of makes it a lot darker. And since I'm wearing the mask, I usually just And that is it. I know it's probably lopsided or whatever, but just the best I can do for that for for an entire day, you guys. I'm trying to make a look for an entire day, so I have to kind of make it dark-ish because I sweat. So there's that. Oops. And then I'm going to use. A concealer and probably a shadow base. I don't know if I have any shadow base here. I think my shadow base is downstairs. Okay, so since I don't have my shadow base here, I'll just go ahead and use my um, Tarte um, concealer. It shouldn't be that bad. Just a little bit. Since I don't have a primer. I mean, uh, I have one, but I think I left it downstairs where I usually do my makeup to. So I guess I don't have one here. That I can use. I thought I left one here. Yeah, I'm going 
but the concealer and stuff, you guys know makeup, it's, um, you could use it for whatever, you could use it both ways, either way. that I'm gonna put back my foundations and then I'm going to use my bronzer just to, for contour And this is the brush I use, it's kind of um, that look. I know it looks kind of dark, but I'll fix that. I just usually do it on my jaw, jawline. All right, now we are going to do my blush. I think I'll just um, use this brush. It's by Artistry by Emily. Artistry by Emily. And I'm going to be using my Physician's Formula for today. And I haven't used that much. I told you guys I use my makeup, even though I don't make, make makeup videos. And the only time I do a makeup video is if I have plenty of time to make a video. Otherwise, I don't. And it depends. If I'm wearing full face, I usually come upstairs. But if I'm doing like half a face or not too much stuff, I just um, use my big um, makeup case downstairs now I have a bigger case now it's um, my yellow bin so that that the small makeup bags that I showed you before <laughs> it's gotten big because I found um, a few more things at the dollar store like makeup wise if you guys watch my hauls or my haul videos you guys would have seen my new makeup and then for my lips, I will be tracing it with my Christian Dior lip liner, my Dior, okay, for today.
and uh, I, I fill in the center as well just a little bit but not so much okay and then for my eyeshadow for today I will be using Okay, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. <laughs> so I'm going to borrow my daughter's makeup for today. Um, I'm going to be using the Color Pop. She told me I could borrow whatever. So I have never used Color Pop before, and these are the colors on this one. I mean, I think I have. I don't know. And I just didn't make a video of it. But for today, I'm just going to be playing with these four colors. Oops. Okay. Let's see. It, it's not labeled, the colors, so... Yeah, I told you guys I don't have like super crazy tricks on my eyeshadows. I just <laughs> I just put makeup on. If it looks good on me, then I'm I'm happy about it. I'm just kind of freestyling this. There's no style with my makeup um, technique. Because my lids are like close, so I try to put the lighter one in the bottom and then the darker one on top. So, see, my lid disappears already. I use a different brush for each of that bro. Then I'm going to use this brush for the outer. Then I'm just going to use the super bright one on top. This is kind of super pink, you guys. See that? Super pink. Because I put it on. <laughs> it's all the way to the top. I just wanted to see the color because it was so pink. I love pink. So, yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do my magic, how to subdue that pink. Okay, I'm done with the color pop. I didn't know that they really stand out. I'm going to use my e.l.f. gold on my lid again, and I'm going to do my lower lid. Okay. 
and a little bit over. Okay, so you guys see there's a slight difference. Okay, that's why I also love the um, jumbo eyeshadows. And now comes the magic of the brushes. When you use your brush um, to mix up your color and, you know, like fix it up a bit then that's when you're um that's when you bring out your brushes now i'm going to use my eyeliner and i'm going to use my la girl for today Kind of made it big because the um, the eyeshadow is still um, soft, but it's okay. We'll fix that. Girl's pretty dark too. So it's kind of giving me like a night look, like I'm going out at night. Okay, that's okay. All right. So now I got all that together. We're gonna pick out my powder for today. And we're going to use um, my mixed up, um, crushed up powders uh, for my lips for today. We are going to use. Um, I'm going to use my OPI. Oh no, this is not OPI. My Avon lipstick and it looks like this it says Avon All right, and now it's time to use the powder so I can dust it off some. And my last thing is my highlighter, you guys know that. And this is my powder here upstairs. I have the other kind downstairs. This is a tad darker too. These are the darker shades of my powder. But since I wore light, um, light foundation, I'm gonna disperse it with the dark a darker shade And that is it, you guys. 
I'm going to keep the eyeshadow like that because when I wear the mask, it, it doesn't really, doesn't matter once I put on the mask. All that will be seen is, is the top portion of my makeup. And for my um, highlight for today, I'm going to use the Sleek. It's my daughter's Sleek. And that's that. And I'm just going to use the brightest one. You guys know I like bright. And I make like a this because I wear the mask. And it, it, it'll wipe off, you guys, so. See? You could also use a brush if you if you like, so. It's just up to you. But to me, it's just easier to use the fingertips so I can trace. Mm. There. I mean, like I told you guys back in the day, so we use um, our fingertips. Oops. And then I am going to... I have like the eyebrow tracer, but I'm not going to do it because I I like it big. Like I like it like this. So. Yeah. So that is it, you guys. That's my look. Now we're going to seal it in with a facial spray. I already finished up my other Urban Decay 